Hey, hello there folks. Thanks for clicking on the video. I just stopped by my cabin right now to pick up a sleeping bag and I'm headed out on another camping adventure, uh, camping, fishing, and up to a beautiful Arctic lake. Um, I've fished at this spot before. It's actually the same spot that I did my catch and cook uh, lake trout, so really hoping the fishing is going to be good there, but this time I'm staying overnight. Always wanted to stay overnight there. I've got a couple unique things I'm going to show you, and uh, including my sleeping system. So hope you'll stay tuned, keep watching, and uh, going to be heading out here soon. Also, I'm bringing a little buddy. Here's my little buddy here, bringing the family dog, Pepper, and he's coming out on an adventure with me. Looking forward to taking him out. Uh, kids are really going to miss him, but uh, anyway, he's just coming out for the night with me. Okay, well, um, you probably remember those that have watched my videos that I've uh, usually go on a mine road and so uh, I didn't video a lot of the, the mine road there but we, we're going up uh, on a, uh, the road that goes to the, to the gold mine. We are now off the road and we're on uh, just on the land and uh, we're just going over land. I know there's a trail to this lake, uh, there's, a, there's a trail over that way. It's often very muddy and mucky and I just don't want to get stuck when I'm alone. Um, and so I usually go over land a bit, which can be quite rough, but um, uh, sometimes I find the trail. There is another little trail, a faint trail that comes along this way, but uh, couldn't find it today. So Pepper and I are going over land, uh, which basically means across the tundra, over the rocks, in between lakes and things like that. And so uh, to get to my uh, our, our camping spot for the night and one of my favorite lakes to fish at. So anyway, we're just going to keep on going here and uh, head over to the, the lake. It's not super far, but uh, we've already gone about 20 some kilometers and uh, now the rest of that will be over land until we get to the lake. Then we'll pick up a trail and get to our spot. So. Okay, well here is the lake. I finally got here. You can see there's people, a few people have some cabins here, but I'm not going to be staying in a cabin tonight. Um, I'm just going to be staying in a, another little uh, tent type of thing. So uh, yeah, finally getting really close. I have to go around to the end of the lake there and then I will uh, go pick up a trail and head out to the spot that I'm going to. So you can probably hear all the bugs. So I think it's going to be a pretty buggy day, buggy evening. But uh, anyway, getting really close. There's a little baby turn, I believe, some sort of Arctic turn. Just running away from me. I saw its mother. She's really worried, but I'm not going to bother it. Beautiful. Beautiful little baby. Okay, well, just got to the lake and uh, I'm going to start start fishing. I'm ready to, ready to fish. Just got Pepper a little bit of water and I'm just going to get the rod out and make a few casts and uh, not sure if I'm going to keep what I catch. I might just release it for now as I'm not going to be able to keep it too cool overnight. But uh, anyway, just going to try uh, catch some fish. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful area. Uh, lots of bugs. Lots of bugs. I just got eaten up 
I'm probably have, I don't know what my face looks like right now. I might have some dead bugs. Probably have some blood, <laughs> blood running somewhere. But anyway, I'm excited to be here, man. This is awesome. I've always wanted to camp here, and uh, gonna try some fishing first before I set up my tent, and uh, just gonna you know enjoy enjoy the beautiful evening. fishing for about 40 minutes right now and uh, haven't had a bite but uh, that's okay you know this uh, fishing trip it's really more it's really more of a camping trip so anyway just happy to be out and uh, I think right what I'm gonna do right now I'm kind of worried about the wind dying down so if the wind dies down then the bugs are gonna get really bad right now I've got wind coming from this direction and uh, it's blowing blowing the bugs away pretty steady little breeze there but uh, if the wind dies down, I'm going to be in trouble. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my tent, and uh, or as I've called it earlier, uh, my sleep system. Uh, this is a very unique system that uh, it's my first time trying it. I've had it for a couple years, but uh, never have uh, never have set it up, never have tried it out. Uh, earlier, uh, I guess it was later last week, I, I took it out, set it up inside, tested it, and uh, what you're about to see is called the Camp Right uh, system. And what it is, it's a cot and it has a tent just attached to it. So you just set the cot out, you have a tent over top, it's got a really good rain fly to go over it, it really covers it, and uh, I'm gonna just put some rocks down underneath it and, and set it up really secure. So. Looking forward to, to trying this out tonight, and I'm going to set that up right now and uh, get ready for supper, and uh, then, of course, do a lot more fishing. But I uh, want to get that uh, Camp Bright caught set up. So. Get some rocks here to set. Or I'm gonna get some, got some rope. I'm gonna just tie it down a little bit, and I just don't want it to blow away. Not really afraid of it blowing away with me in it, but just when I'm not in it. So you can see, I put uh, rocks underneath there, one there, that one there, and uh, then I'm just gonna get two more rocks for the other side, and uh, put. Some rope, tie it down. So. Well, then it's got these nice uh, stakes or stakes, <laughs> these nice poles here. Hey, pepper, no pepper, and. Um, Put these poles in this little setup here. Pepper, stay pepper, don't go far, but oh, that dog likes to explore. Here we go, there's one. 
And we'll get the other one in here. Found himself a spot a little better, he thinks, out of the bugs. Right over there on the hill. Okay. There it is. Really easy to set up. Not very complicated. I just added the extra rocks and ropes there just for safety. And uh, just, you know, I don't want the wind. If the wind happens to pick up, it's not expected to, but it uh, should be pretty secure there. And then there is another uh, tarp that goes all the way over the whole thing, all the way down, all the way down to the edges and everything, all the way around. And uh, just to uh, you know, rain protect the rain and and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. Looking forward to sleeping in there tonight. What is that silly dog doing? He found something to roll in. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. I doubt it's anything uh, very clean. Okay, well here we go. I was just saying, oh man, I should uh, get some lunch or get some supper. And uh, this fish, just nice little, uh, nice little guy, just bit. And uh, it's got a really weird gouge. Out of his head there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what that is, but uh, I uh, small little guy. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have this for supper. All right. I'm gonna fry up fry up the fish a little bit here. Just got some oil, salt and pepper. Nothing too fancy, but uh, it's going to be nice getting the bugs. Bugs on my fish. Oh well. It's all propane. Oh, propane. Protein. Oh man. Sometimes they bring lemon pepper seasoning, but I uh, didn't bring that today. But, um, Got salt and pepper. Can't get the pepper out very well though. Alright, cooking up here. Pretty good. Alright, well, sitting down, trying to get the breeze here to enjoy this fish. And uh, man, it looks really good. It looks really good. Couldn't believe I caught it. I was just uh, gonna make up a uh, kind of a backpacking type meal, and I uh, had some a couple of those along I was gonna try. But then, uh, you know, I, I thought I'd catch, catch a little bit of a bigger one, but uh, caught a little small one. Perfect for supper time. So anyway, all right, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for just a great day to be out. Nice fish, and uh, just the uh, beautiful day. In Jesus' name, Amen. The trick is eating with the bugs flying around. Oh man, that's close. Pretty good. Nicely done. Oh no, pepper's in the frame there. Can you eat some fish? Oh yeah, there he is. He says, I think I'll try the fish. Oh yeah. Oh, I just licked it a little bit. Let the salt and pepper off. All right. All right. There it is. Second batch done. Pretty tasty stuff.
mate, caught another one. After supper. This guy. He's, he's a fighter. Pretty good fish. I'm just gonna let him go. Nice fight. Awesome fish, but this guy's going back in the water. There you go. Off he goes. Fishing's picking up a little bit, and uh, it's my third one. Uh, wind's dying down though, and uh, man, bugs are everywhere. I, uh, thankful I brought this bug net and got this hoodie on and stuff, but I'm gonna try fishing a bit more. Then uh, probably a little bit, uh, in a little bit, go relax back in my tent. So anyway, man, I'm loving it. It's awesome. Craziness. Bugs are so bad. Poor peppers. Just getting covered in them. It's ridiculous. The wind died down and and so I'm gonna dry them off here. Try to get them dried off and get them into the tent here with me because this is it's getting pretty brutal. I don't mind because I've got good bug net and everything, but poor dog. He's not enjoying it. Somebody skipped out on me here. I finally dried them off and put them in there. <laughs> Pretty bad. But, uh, gorgeous night. Beauty of a night. Like, we just can't complain. I mean, except for the bugs. If we could just get rid of the bugs, but then we couldn't get such a calm night. If the bugs weren't, if the bugs are out like this, then it's a calm night. Can't have both, but anyway. I keep seeing these little fish jump up. I don't know what kind of fish they are. Um, little fish jump up and grab the bugs. Grab the bugs on the water there. But, uh, oh, there's a couple more. I don't know if you can see me in there. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Well, I'm in. My tent caught for the night here, and uh, pretty spacious, lots of space, and uh, could really, I don't know if you can hear it, a little bit of dull roar and buzz, that's all the mosquitoes, I could, they're hitting the, hitting the top of the tent, I, it sounds like a little rain because there's so many mosquitoes out there, but uh, good, I'm good in here. And uh, gonna gonna sleep well. I was actually intending for Pepper to sleep outside. One of the reasons I brought him was uh, just 
kind of have his eyes and ears outside in case of a grizzly bear. Uh, they're pretty rare in our area, but but uh, it's one of those things that uh, when you tent on the tundra, it's always in the back of your mind, <laughs> always nervous. But um, I do have a shotgun sitting out there, and uh, I, uh, I'm not going to put that right here in the, in the tent with me. But the bugs are so bad that uh, I actually, I'll uh, turn you around here. I actually have the little dog in the tent with me. Thankfully, he's a small dog, and uh, <clears throat> able to uh, just have him in there and get out of the bugs. He's actually hunting. Right now, hunting for mosquitoes, trying to kill the ones before we go to sleep, I guess. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's good. You can tell it's a beautiful night. As you've seen the video, just beautiful. And uh, calm, still water. Very lovely, very lovely. Well, the sun is just about going down. I just wanted to show you a little perspective. I'm here in my little tent cot sitting right on this little peninsula. You probably saw that, but uh, right straight ahead of my ATV is water. So I'm surrounded by water on three sides. Now it's not very deep up, up there, but um, right over here to the left is where I've been catching the fish. And uh, can still hear fish jumping. And I'm just laying in my cot, listening to a podcast, and uh, man, it is beautiful. It's a beauty evening killer bugs but uh, not too many here in the tent cot thankfully so getting ready to head to bed soon all right well I'm heading to bed here it's about 11:30 p.m. and uh, not completely dark outside but I had to turn a little light on just so the camera would pick up but uh, anyway headed to bed so I will see you guys in the morning